Yo, what is up, guys? We are back. More Dokkan Battle content coming at a TV or phone or tablet or laptop near you. Or computer, whatever. Listen, y'all know what I'm, I'm trying something new. Uh, <laughs> so, um, LRB's Gohan and Carnival LR Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 have been revealed. Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, honestly, maybe I was a bit too harsh on They They look like they're, they might be like number two in the game. Uh, Beast Gohan is number one. Like, we're, we're not having this discussion. Beast Gohan is number one. Like, he is number one. Undoubtedly number one. Uh, Beast Gohan is... I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a separate video on him. Like, he's so good, he gets his own other video. But, right now, we are going to be looking at their banners, because um the face cards, the face units for their banners have been revealed. I have the wiki up, so we can look at these guys. Um, actually, you know what? I don't need the JP wiki up. I think I could do global. But, you know what I also could do? Um, dark theme, because I am not a masochist. Okay, so, uh, we're gonna start with Beast Gohan's banner. So, Beast Gohan is a Dokkan Fest LR. Right? He is a Dokkan Fest LR. So, we have, uh, we, we have Beast Gohan, again. I think best unit in the game. I would actually go so far to say that Beast Gohan is the best unit in the game, and I don't think it's close. Right? I like I think he blows everybody out of the water. Like I think it's Beast Gohan, a gap, and then everybody else. Like I actually maybe Gamma 2 is up there with them. With him, maybe. But then it's them two and then everybody else. Like it oh god, it's so crazy. But alright. <laughs> an, an, enough slobbering over Beast Gohan. Uh we have LR Beast Gohan, best unit in the game. The LR Blues, Krillin in 18. The eighth Anna, eighth Annie GT duo and UI Goku. So let's um let's go real quick. Let's go look at the blues. So the blues, right? Um this unit gets a lot of flack. I get it. They're pretty poor offensively in base. They they're not not pretty. They're really bad offensively in base. They're really bad, actually. I can't sit here and deny the fact that they can tank, like, big boss supers in base, though, when they have the guard. And they can also dodge in base in slot one. The problem really comes in, though, with their condition, right? 70% um, or less starting from the fifth turn from the character's entry, not start of battle, when they first appear. Or when there's another Future Saga category ally attacking the same turn. Or Future Saga enemy starting from the 7th turn. The, pro the problem is they guard for the first 4 turns from their intro. If they... If you are not ready to fuse into Vegito by the time this guard is worn out. You better pray to God they dodge. Because if they don't dodge... I, I, and I mean this... With every fiber of my being, you will die. Like that, there's no if ands or buts about. You will die. You will die. You will die a very painful, terrible death. These guys will get you killed, but they can also, on the same spectrum, help you tank big supers. And then you know when you get to Vegeta, I'm not gonna lie, Veg Vegeto is just God incarnate. I mean, Vegeto has sold me before, but it's very rare. It's very rare. But he has damage reduction here. Then he gets a little bit um, outright. So he'll have 50% before attacking. Then he'll have 20% afterwards. Uh, high chance to dodge his first attacker. This guy could do like five supers. All of them super effective. And then he has this. Which he has guaranteed dodge for the turn. Like, once you get to Vegito, he is stupid. You just have to get out of this phase with them. You have to get out of that. Thankfully, their leader skill is incredible. They, I mean, they probably still have the best leader skill in the game, right? I, I think they do. Uh, yeah, th he is the best, best, best leader in the game. So, uh, like they are, they're still incredibly good. They're still top ten, definitely. They're still top ten. Um, just be aware, like you can't. They can be the MVPs, or they can look like choke artists. They really can. Um, next we have, uh, Krill uh, I guess I'll go over Krillin and 18 real quick, right? Um, Krillin and 18 are very good as a banner unit. Very good, very solid. Um, where are they? Oh, it's their defensive calcs. Really? They get up to one? Wow. Yeah. They're pretty good. Um, 
details, details, details. Come on, man. There we go. Okay. Um, let me just put this over here. So yeah, they're pretty good. Um, they have dodge. They mainly rely on dodge. However, they also have incredible support that will help out guys like Orange Piccolo, LRB's Gohan, LR Ultimate Gohan. It'll help out so many of these units, man. So many. So yeah, th this is a very good banner unit to have. Are they Golden Frieza level? I don't know. But they are very good. These guys are very good. So that's two W's. Along with Beast Gohan, who's a W himself. Next, we have the GT Duo. Now, the GT Duo, right? I feel like it's another unit that's really that really gets a lot of flack. I, funny enough, it seemed like they were doing such crazy damage during the 9th anniversary. Now we get... I mean, during the 8th anniversary. Now we get to the 9th anniversary, and it's just... Wow, these guys, I feel like, hit like a feather unless you're doing their spirit bomb. Even with the spirit bomb, I feel like they're hitting like a, a lightweight. It's crazy. Um, this, this guy gets a lot of flack. I don't know why. I Yeah, turn one, they could definitely be... Turn one, slot one, yeah, they'll definitely get you killed. But, I mean, you gotta build this up, man. Once you build this up, they're fine. 50% damage reduction post-super, and they're supering like three or four times. They're fine. They are more than fine. And then you have this uh trusty... Uh, standby where this is how you do the spare bomb and it's also a revive um yeah like the there's not really much to say on these guys that I, hasn't been said already very strong team like they they're just incredibly good they're still well i guess they're not top five in the game anymore are they but they're top 10 they're still top 10 definitely definitely 100 percent um and their standby is not even hard to get it's not even hard to get so yeah still very good um, and then we have UI Goku. Now, UI Goku is an interesting case, right? Uh, I'll just put Ultra. He's a very interesting case with that. Right now, I mean, I guess I can't say he's unusable because he has 70% chance to dodge. The problem is if this guy gets looked at the wrong way, he's dying. But it's also weird because this guy is... Uh, the way the pattern has gone for the last two anniversaries... Um, so for the seventh anniversary, the third year and fourth year Annie LR's Easy Aid. For the eighth anniversary, the fifth Annie LR's Easy Aid. So the ninth anniversary, the sixth Annie LR should Easy A. So if this guy Easy A's, then I mean, God knows what he could turn into. This guy could be insane. He could have guaranteed dodge for like a turn or two. Like this guy could be insane. So right now I'm gonna put him on the maybe list. I'm gonna put him on the maybe list. Um, yeah, because I w we don't know what his um what you call it what his easy is gonna look like. But as of right now, so that's W for B's go on W for Blue Goku Blue Vegeta W for Krillin eighteen W for the GT Duo and UI Goku is kind of on standby. It's kind of on standby. So I'd, obviously you know incredible banner summon. Dump all your stones at yeah, dump all your stones. Next, we have the Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 banner. So these guys are carnival, right? So you won't see Dokkan Fest on their banner. So we have Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 Carnival LR. Like I said, I think they're probably the second best unit in the game. Not Beast Go On level, but they are still incredible. You have LR Future Go On, still fringe top five, I'll say. I'd probably say he's top 10. He's like fringe top five though. Bulma probably is still top five. Kai Goku is very underrated. I still feel like he's very good. And Tech Carnival Goku honestly isn't even though he's old now, like he's not that bad. Like he's still somewhat usable. So I think this banner is very solid as well. We're gonna go over all of these guys. So starting off, we have LR Future Gohan. Um Fringe top five, top ten unit. Uh, slot one, this guy will probably get you killed. Not killed, but it will hurt. Um, you gotta put him slot two, slot three, but he will hold it down like no other with all his damage reduction. Like damage reduction here, then here, then here. Like he will hold it down. And then his domain is still one of the best in the game, right? Uh, increased damage received by extreme class enemies and allies by thirty percent. Oh my god! Like it. Every almost every big boss, it well, except well, I guess not now, but 
still most of the big bosses are extreme class so this is incredibly helpful um his active skill hits pretty well and he gets guaranteed crits out of it amazing link set like this guy's just really strong he hits decently hard kind of with crits um he defends very well and the domain provides very good uh utility for the rest of the team to do more damage so yeah very good unit very powerful unit um who else was there uh okay so we have we already okay wait okay let's go to kai goku i guess uh kai goku um i can't very well say he's fallen off i can't say kai goku has fallen off he just like better units have released right i would never say this guy fell off though he has guard for six turns this survives ko attack saying i don't really care for it. like it's i don't know why it has that and they recover 59% HP when HP is 40% or less at the end of the turn. Incredibly helpful. Um, high chance to nullify, which is super helpful. He has a really good 200% leader skill. Um, the spare bomb is is okay. Like he he's a solid defensive unit. He's not God, right? He's not God. He's not Beast Gohan, okay? But very solid defensive unit, especially with the guard uh slot two slot three probably slot three for this guy but he is he will not hinder your team if you throw him on there um next you know i could just look up bulma goatma um bulma i mean bulma still bulma still that girl right like she she's still that girl she's she's still her she is. has she been knocked out the top five yes she's still her though uh, three key and guards for seven turns insane and then she gets damage reduction at the start of each turn up to 77 percent. so as with a lot of units as the fight goes on they get weaker and weaker this this girl gets stronger and stronger as the fight goes on so by the time you get to the last phase this girl is running at full power crazy she's a nuker she gives all allies three key and 37 percent uh attacking defense for two turns with key spheres um she creates rainbow key spheres, and then she has an active skill where she all allies seven key and seventeen percent attack and defense, and then super effective and gets all STR key spheres. She'll hit like a freight train on that turn. Amazing super attack effects. I like nah, like she's her, bro. She's that girl. She's that girl. Boma. Okay, so I think Beast Gone's number one. I think. Um, Gamma's are number two. I personally think Broly is number three, and then an Orange Piccolo four. I'd probably say Gogeta five. Boma's number six. I'd probably say Boma's number six. You, I feel like you can interchange Gogeta and Boma. I might lean on the Gogeta side to that, though. I might. Um, but yeah, that Boma's still French top five. Easily. Easily French top five. And then Tech Carnival Goku. Um, I mean, this guy's aged, obviously, but would I call him a bad unit? No, I'm not calling him a bad unit. Absolutely not. Um, super effective. Uh, th nothing with this guy regarding damage really matters. He guards, and that's what matters. He guards, right? Guarding post super, and he stacks. So guarding post super really does help. And then if you get the revive off, he guaranteed guards. And then high chance to crit. And then all... all all you got to do to get the revive is 59% um, or less HP at start of character's attack in turn. And then anybody in the rotation can die. And then he gets it. Uh, I mean, okay active skill with an attack rate. That's pretty good. Yeah, like, once you get the rev him having the revive and the guard and the stacking, like, he's old. But he has the tools to make himself like, okay, if I have, if I have no other options and I have to throw this guy there. As long as I play cautiously, play carefully, it won't hurt me too bad. Like, this guy is still okay. Like, he's still all right. But, um, yeah, so Gamma, so, like, Gamma's are a W. I would say Kai Goku's still a W. I say Future Gohan's a W. Bulma's definitely a W. Goku, what I call him? Because most of you guys probably have him with dupes already. He's that old. So, I mean, like, I can I call him? I don't know if I call him a W. He's, he's, eh. He's meh. Like, meh. Right, um, yeah, Bumble being featured is actually insane, though. 
Uh, but yeah, those are the banners for LR, Dokkan Fest, Beast, Gohan, and Carnival LR, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. Amazing units, amazing banners. I don't think I have to tell you guys to summon, but I'm going to tell y'all anyway. Summon. I need to get some stones together so I can summon. And I definitely will be summoning. <laughs> definitely. Uh, like and subscribe for more Dokkan Battle content such as this. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of these characters, these banners, how many stones you guys saved, all of that good stuff. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, and I'm out. Peace.